All right, what's up, you guys? This is Devin from Century Effects Studios, back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about glasses glare and how to get it out of your images. Now, usually, people see it as a necessary evil. Like, we just got to have the glasses glare. We don't even think much about it when we're taking pictures casually. Usually, you'll see someone with glasses glare, and you'll say, oh, well we'll just keep it in there and they don't even think twice about either taking their glasses off and then some people get savvy about it and they say hey well, why don't you just take your glasses off so we won't get glasses glare now these are some example glasses as you can see I have my light here over to my my right your left key left for the camera and as you can see at certain angles the glasses glare especially when I turn it towards the light source now when I turn it towards the light source as you can see the glasses are glaring now that the glasses are glaring you might be like well why are they glaring and and how can I get that glare smaller or get it away without having people to take off their glasses because when people get savvy and they start to take off their glasses it works for people who are just casually taking a picture but what if somebody's a corporate client what if somebody's a big wig what if somebody can't see without their glasses and they're trying to see you as the photographer and they're like well daggone I can't see without my glasses and they want to be a model or they're they're posing for some kind of special picture or their their eyes get messed up when they take off their glasses or they, their eyes veer in certain ways and their glasses keep their eyes in check or maybe they squint or maybe they start to get bags or maybe they get uncomfortable comfortable about taking the glasses off. There's a whole bunch of reasons why you don't want to have them take their glasses off. You want to be your model or your client or whoever you're taking a picture of to be as comfortable as they possibly can be and you to look as professional as possible. And the way you can look as professional as possible is getting this glasses glare out of your images. Now, some glasses, if you're lucky enough, have those what do you call it, the um, anti-glare coating. And I have had clients who have had the anti-glare coating and it does wonders for me because I don't have to worry about glasses glare happening but I say 85% of the clients that I've had with glasses have this glasses glare without the you know the resistant coating and things of that nature because some people wear glasses for different reasons and maybe they don't have the money to get the kind or maybe glasses can be very expensive to everybody especially when it's the thing that you have to wear every day and it's an annual purchase or annual checkup all these other things so they don't want to have to change just because you are the photographer and you're taking one picture and one one moment in time that, they, that they're like okay this is just one moment in time i'll just take the glasses off but like I said, it, a lot of things can happen. So you want to look as professional as possible and get these glasses glare out or this glasses glare out of each lens. Now, here's an example. I was doing a graduation shoot recently and um, my client had glasses on and her glasses were glaring the entire time. She even had at least out of five or six family members, at least five of them had glasses on or four of them had glasses on. And we were taking the group pictures for the family. All these things became an issue because as far as glasses glare, because it kept happening, not only with her, but it happened with all these other people in her family, the glasses glare kept happening. But immediately, before I even started the shoot, I noticed that she had glasses on. And that's the first thing I think about, especially when I'm shooting a picture of a person that I want you to keep your glasses on. Because say, for example, you're graduating from a school. You don't want to take your glasses off and show all your friends because if they have never seen you take your glasses off, and chances are they probably haven't because usually if you're using glasses at school and you're using them, especially when you're just walking around casually, you need it for casual use and reading use and all these other uses that you need to use for in academic environments. So chances are they have never seen you in your glasses and you might crank a Stephen Urkel and have uh, that, you know, Urkel effect. Well, oh my goodness, look at them with their glasses off, that kind of thing. But other than that, you probably want to keep them on. So... In this case, I wanted to be in the position to tell her to keep them on because I hadn't met her before. I didn't know exactly what I was going to get myself into, so I needed to know exactly how to get them out. So here are some quick tips before I get into the post-production of the graduation shoot that I did. Here's some quick tips on how to get the glasses glare out of your images. Now, chances are if you are getting glasses glare, you're using another light source. Just like I'm using another light source here, I have a... 47.2 inch octabox right here not only is it a high powered octabox but it is a huge octabox which means it makes an even bigger uh catch light or glare in this case 
in the lens of my model or talent. Now, since it's closer to me, it even it gets even huger in the actual eyes of my client or talent to the point where I can't even see their pupils or their eyes at all. Now, if you're a portrait photographer, eyes are key. They're essential. You grab your focus on the eye. The eye has to be, you know, you be able to see the pupils, especially if you're doing a headshot, any kind of glamour, beauty, anything like that, any magazine, editorial, you need to be able to see those eyes and see that they are sharp. It is a huge deal to portrait photographers. So what you want to do is, if you can, because portrait photographers, especially if you're a pro, you want to have your lighting patterns on point. So you might want to do this. You might not want to do this. And that will be raising the light source up. So if I were to take this, I would raise this light source up. But I might lose catch lights in the eye because I'm trying to get them out of the lens of the of the the glasses so that's a drawback but that is a way you can get glasses glare out of it or you can just angle the light up just or feather it up just a little bit it the very the results will vary because of the different light modifiers and the sizes that you have so you might need to understand it from your own specifics perspective you might need to move the light source some way somehow as far as the subject, the second way you can actually get rid of glasses glare is to have them lean forward and get the glasses glare out. So when you have the glasses come here, you lean forward, the glasses glare leaves and here's got a little stain up here. But as far as the glasses glare is concerned, but you could do that. You could have the glasses, the person who has the glasses bring their chin down. If they bring their chin down, the glasses glare goes away. Those are some, some of the things that you can do to keep glasses glare away from the glasses and you can see clear through their pupils because it makes a big difference if you're a photographer that says, oh no, you don't need to take your glasses off. I know exactly all about your glasses glare, how to get it out, how it's gonna react to my camera, my lens, and my light source. And we don't have to worry about lens glare. We don't have to worry about glasses glare. We don't have to worry about any of that stuff that you're worried about. You can just pose exactly how you are gonna pose. You can be as comfortable, as you know, carefree as you wanna be. You don't have to worry about glasses glare. I just, just follow my directions and I'll direct you away from the glasses glare so you'll have crystal clear, perfect picture that you can see your eyes, that you can see your expression without having to worry about any kind of bags under your eyes, any kind of squinting, any kind of uncomfortableness with my direction because you can't see me because I told you to take off your glasses. And so when your client sees it, they're like, wow, I thought there was glasses glare in that image when we first took it. I thought we were going to have issues with this because you had mentioned you've been able to get it out, but I didn't believe you because the photographers in the past couldn't do it. There's a whole bunch of reasons why getting glasses out, glare out of your image is so important to you having a successful shoot a successful client a successful if you're getting money a successful transaction all this stuff makes you just look like a better photographer and um i know i held you guys over just a little bit today but thanks for watching i'm devin with Central effect studios and keep glasses glare out of your picture